lot of games I just play through once and I just say, dang, that was a pretty good game, but I feel like my first playthrough is always going to be my most memorable one. Then there are games that you come back to every now and then that are a great experience, but there are one or two things keeping it from being a fantastic one that you always want to come back to. But every now and then, the stars align and you just get a game that just completely jives with you. And for me, one of those games is Titanfall 2. I find myself consistently coming back to Titanfall 2 again and again, and I just keep getting chills up my spine of something cool happening in game. Titanfall 2 is a game I just can't bring myself to stay away from. I get mad at the hackers and DDoSers destroying this game's servers. I leave the game for a little bit and then I'm back on it once again. I just can't stay away. Time and time again, I get moments that just look straight out of a trailer. Every match is is like a movie. It's, it's like an action movie taking place right before you. But the number one thing that always gets me back on this game is the speed. One game that you might think has speed and momentum to it amounts to nothing when compared to Titanfall 2. Everything in Titanfall 2 just works for me because I freaking love to go fast. No game makes me feel like an absolute speed demon more than Titanfall 2. Everything is designed to keep you moving. Your guns are accurate from the hip so you can get to engagements faster. The amount of movement options you have in this game is unparalleled. You can wall run, boost slide, boost jump, speed boost, grappling hook. Gotta love the freaking grappling hook. Every game needs one of those. And everything is skill based. Yeah, you can hide in a corner, but if I come flying in there at Mach 5, are you really going to be able to shoot me? Then you have the biggest juxtaposition of the speed of the game, that being the Titans. They are slow, lumbering hunks of metal. The battles against other Titans are at a snail's pace. You move slowly, their weapons are clunky, their reload times are long, but the weapon audio of the Titans just sounds like God himself letting loose his wrath. So yeah, in uh, other words, the Titans are fucking cool. But you don't just have the relationship of Titan versus Titan. You have the relationship of Titan versus Pilot, David versus Goliath, Speed versus a hulking mass of death and destruction. A bad Titan operator against a pilot who knows what he's doing does not stand a chance. But if that good pilot gets in a Monarch Titan, you might as well just leave the match and go play this game's awesome campaign. In a lot of campaigns with advanced movement, I felt like the maps were not built around it. Like in Infinite Warfare, I can recall one moment in that entire campaign that it forced me to wall run, and I never did after that. But in Titanfall 2, the movement in the maps feel like they were built up side by side. That goes for the campaign, and that goes double for the multiplayer. All these maps just look and feel so nice to be running about in. In the story of Titanfall 2, although it may be simple, the characters are complex. And that's how all great stories are told. BT may be a big robot, but the dimensions to his character are more than the cold chassis that he has. He's our companion through thick and thin. And the main character, Cooper, is a low-level grunt who is forced to become a pilot out of a matter of circumstance. He was just in the wrong place at the right time. And because of that one circumstance, we get to see BT and Cooper's journey as they become more than just companions of circumstance and they turn into true friends who rely on each other. I've played through this campaign six times and it feels as fresh as the first time I ever played it. And that's because... <clears throat> Nine incredible missions. They are all just raising the stakes higher and higher, one after another. Every video game has that mission, that one gameplay instance that just sticks with you. And it's one that you desperately want to tell all your friends about, but you can't bring yourself to do it because you want them to experience that mission for themselves. In Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, that mission was all gillied up. In Red Dead Redemption 2, it was Blood Feuds Ancient and Modern. And in Halo Combat Evolved, it was the Silent Cartographer. Well, Titanfall 2 says, why only have one memorable mission when we can just make the entire campaign unforgettable? That's nine absolutely fantastic missions in this game of great world building, characters, 
and music. But there are three missions that I think even stand above those six other ones. You have Into the Abyss, a mission that takes place in a factory with platforms that move and shift as you fight on top of them. And as you stand on these moving pieces, they're all getting shifted to this massive arena that you finish off the level on. Then you have the beacon, which is a level with a simple problem of you needing to send out a signal, but with many steps to it. You need to do parkour to get this weapon that can open and close wind currents that forces you through tunnels. And then it all culminates with you powering up a nuclear reactor and just an awesome scene. My analysis indicates a throw is our only option here. I can throw you across the gap. Wind, three knots, heading 274. Range, 95 meters. Projectile mass, 89 kilograms. Trust me. Good throw. You're welcome, pilot. Good luck over there. Now, I know I said this campaign is just unforgettable, but this next mission is unforgettable -er than the others. And because of that, if you have not played Effect and Cause, go to right here. Skip this portion of the video. Seriously, do yourself a favor. If you've never played this game, play this mission at least. Do yourself that. Effect and Cause starts with so much mystery to it. Up until this point, it's just been non-stop action. Enemies absolutely everywhere. But this is quiet. This facility has just been abandoned for a very long time. There's overgrowth everywhere. It seems like a battle has already happened here. And that's because it has. The main gameplay gimmick for the Abyss was just the massive factory setting. In the Beacon, the main gameplay gimmick was the ability to change wind currents and also platforms. But in Affecting Cause, the main gameplay gimmick is time control. Discovering that was the biggest curveball I ever experienced and Respawn just kept playing with the idea more and more, testing the player and making them get better at this one mechanic, only for it to be a one-off thing and never use it again. I can't imagine how complicated this mission was to develop because there are two maps layered over top of each other and they're both rendered at the same time so that when you switch, it's seamless. And while all this time switching is happening, the story of Titanfall 2 is finally starting to come together and you finally understand why this mission was such a well-kept secret and why only a few people knew about it. But just as things start to make sense, alarms are triggered, the time trials just keep getting harder and harder, enemies are coming in from every direction, ships are flying in, explosions are happening, and then... This scene is what I see when I think of Titanfall 2. Because this game is just complete and utter chaos. But I just can't find myself looking away from it. What I've learned from playing some of the highest rated games out there is that there seems to be a correlation between introducing new ideas and iterating on existing ones that stands to better test a player's mind and creativity and allowing them to develop different skills to get better at the game. Making all these games, ones that players from all sides consider to be the best in their retrospective categories because these games are both fun as learning experiences and enjoyable trials. And so it stands to reason that EA, why the hell did you think it was a good idea to release Titanfall 2 between Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1?